Where's Frank? Still working, I think. Has he said anything to you? No, he hasn't been here all night. Good. Now, I don't want you to take this personal, but I don't think you're staying here at the moment's a very good idea. I've done everything I can for you, but I'm sorry. I want you out of here as soon as possible. Get yourself ready while I call a cab. Why? Well, apart from drinking our scotch and keeping in touch with your old mates by giving them this number and don't you deny that again because I answered the phone. That wasn't your brother. Is that all? Where do you want to go to? I won't do it again, all right? I won't. I want you out of here. You're dangerous. Nothing personal. You're dangerous. What do you mean, dangerous? Just take my word for it and go, please. Oh, look, don't throw me out, Pat, please. And don't make me feel guilty. I've done everything I can. Here's some money for the cab. What do you mean it's not personal? Of course it's personal. It's not only personal, it's stupid. Well, in fact, nothing personal, but it'd be a very stupid thing for you to do right now. Oh, yeah? Why's that, then? Well, you're very nicely set up here. It appears you've landed on your feet, considering where we met, so why spoil it now? Look, will you get a move on, please? It's hard enough as it is. No. If I were you, Pat, I'd be a little bit more patient. I mean, you don't want any upset, do you? Not just before Christmas. Season of goodwill. Now, wouldn't it be better if we all look forward to spending a nice Christmas together while I got better? Wouldn't that be safer? You little tart! And what were you doing the other night, collecting butterflies? I might have known it. What, from where we met? I'll give you an helping hand, you bite it off. Well, let me tell you something, darling. I don't blackmail. You're going, even if I have to chuck you out myself. You're making a very great mistake, Pat, please. I want you out now before I forget I'm a lady. God, oh, that's a laugh. If you're a lady, I must be a duchess. Hey, everything all right here? Yeah? Yes, Frank. Will you leave us for a minute, please? No, don't go, Frank. Leave us, Frank. No! Hey, hang on a minute. What am I doing here? Come on, I'm going. Well, I think you should stay. Considering your wife's just asked me to leave. Ain't that right, Pat? Yeah. Yeah. So before that moment arrives... Well, I feel it's my duty to fill you in on one or two blanks of your wife's life. Oh, yeah? Like what? Don't listen to her, Frank! I want to hear what she has to say, Pat. Like what? Like where your wife was the other night when she met me. And what she was doing there. You really want to know where we met? In a pickup joint. Where bored housewives rub shoulders with the pros, free meal in a quick lane. That's where your wife was the other night when she met me. Ain't that right, Pat? I want you out of this house this instant. Pat, get a coat. <clears throat> well, I'm going to give you ten seconds. Then if you're not gone, I'm going to use force to propel you through that door. Don't misunderstand me. I won't use unreasonable force, but I will propel you through that door to the other side. Now, you've got a choice. You either exit with or without assistance. But either way, you don't say another word. I ain't got any money for a cab. Life's a bitch. One. Two. Thank you, Frank. Frank, can't we sit down and talk about this? Frank! <laughs> 